Hey Soul Tribe, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a collective reading, so I'm manifesting that all of the right people who are meant to see this reading will see it. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you do see it, it will be the right time. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you all, what's going on right now in your current situation with you, the person on your mind, if any, and what you need to know. So whenever you do see this, it will be the right time. As always, take what resonates and leave out the rest. Practice using your own discernment. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am Spiritually Goldie on all platforms and if you're interested in a personal reading all of the information will be left in the description box below for you all all right so i'm seeing that there's somebody who you have been connecting with on a very magnetic level so a very strong attraction here it's like i'm picking up like you two like can't really keep your hands off of each other type of energy a lot of chemistry but also i'm seeing that some of you have been trying to work something out here and it feels like what you've been working towards Something, something didn't turn out the way that you thought it would here. Okay, so I'm picking up like wrong timing. Like you can see this person's running, but their leg gets caught. So I feel like someone wanted to move something a lot quicker, but it wasn't the right time. Somebody may have been struggling with their finances or their career here, but I do feel like you've been contemplating on whether or not this is something that you want to keep investing your time your energy in all right so you could be dealing with somebody who does get a lot of attention six of wands on a public scale or you may just see this person as somebody who is um in in a way kind of leveling up their life and they do have a lot of friends or a lot of support around them but I do feel like something has happened here where somebody was more focused on themselves or th this this connection wasn't really a priority here and I am seeing you as now healing with that star energy healing but still holding hope that there's going to be some sort of change here. Things are going to change for the better for, for you. So, wow. Yeah, I feel like you're not allowing this situation to make you lose hope in your future, make you lose hope um, and faith within yourself here. So I do feel like some of you, in like sometimes for, for some of you, you have like a financial situation that didn't really um turn out and you're not allowing that to to stop you from trying again okay seven of pentacles it's like you're willing to move forward until you receive the rewards of your effort so you're somebody who does really believe in hard work and um receiving the rewards through hard work and moving forward in a way that it's taking a lot of willpower to do, but I see you as like quickly moving forward towards your success and towards your um, your abundance. But I definitely see you contemplating things, seeing what needs to change in your life, seeing whether or not something can change. All right, so there is someone around you who is kind of like waiting or preparing themselves to go to the opposite side or go through this entrance here towards you, making some sort of plan. 
you could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo Aries, Sagittarius, or also seeing Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, strong Aquarius is here, and we have Libra and Gemini. Okay, interesting, King of Pentacles. So there is somebody around you who is like a really hard worker, who does have stability in their life and has gotten to a place where they are financially stable and interesting so we have the ten of swords here and it looks like the ice is melting so i do feel like this person is kind of waiting for a situation to um something to change so that they can give you uh something something big and something solid here this is somebody who does want to provide and does want to be a sense of security for you and wants a big commitment but this is someone who doesn't rush into anything here like we have within a year so this person is thinking about um something long term here but they're not going to rush anything they're they're like waiting until this ice melts so ten of swords this could be a situation that they're, they've had a lot of pressure on their on their shoulders, a lot of stress or even pain, and they're waiting for themselves to get to a better place to make some sort of big investment and, and big commitment towards you here. Interesting. And this could be someone new with this Ace of Pentacles. This could be a, a new person coming into your life who doesn't rush anything. But there's definitely going to be some sort of change here. Something's about to change. There's like a light at the end of the tunnel. And I'm hearing attitude. It's a lot has to do because your attitude is shifting towards a more po uh, positive mindset. Watching. Interesting. So some of you may be keeping tabs on someone or vice versa. This person could be keeping tabs on you. But this is going to change soon. So like you can see these people are on their phone kind of looking at pictures so you may be talking to someone through some sort of app or your phone right now but this is something that's going to change soon i'm seeing past life so there is somebody who you do have a past life with or you may feel like you've had a past life with this with this person interesting toxic relationship came out and forgiveness I feel like some of you are releasing toxic relationships right now, healing it, creating changes in your life where you are forgiving yourself and forgiving your past in order to be in a better place to accept something solid or to have a new solid beginning in your life with with someone someone new. Okay, so let's take a look at this person around you. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Oh. Interesting. This person is looking at the situation like there is a good opportunity here. Or there is some sort of opportunity where they see a lot of potential towards towards um a future but it does feel like right now things are maybe haven't gotten off the grounds yet they're looking at this situation like it hasn't gotten off the grounds and they're seeing you as i'm hearing something about you being playful or flirtatious with them <laughs> clarify this Five of Wands energy. Oh, yeah. Ace of Wands. Definitely. This person is very, very attracted to you. And you're giving off like this like flirtatious, playful energy. Um, 
that they want to move towards but i do feel like this is still all like it's had things haven't gotten off the grounds interesting four of cups i feel like yeah i feel like right now somebody is contemplating on um timing contemplating on when when the right timing is to take something towards um a higher level of commitment so but with this two of wands here as their intentions they're they're making plans towards uh, a future with you towards coming towards you like you can see this person is climbing up a, a hill or a wall a mountain so this person is like willing to go the distance and they're willing to push themselves towards forward movement with you here with that chariot their actions is a chariot so this is somebody who could end up driving to see you traveling to see you making some sort of journey but this is this they're like they're making plans towards a future with you here and within a year i'm seeing like a more serious commitment What is this? Two of Wands. What are they planning here? What are they planning? Okay. I'm seeing this is somebody who is like not, uh, they're not willing to like give up. So they're planning to keep a situation going with you here. I see this person is like visualizing different um, scenarios in their head on like where they want to take this. I am seeing some sort of like um, offer, higher levels of commitment, but I definitely feel like this is somebody who is well, trying to create changes in their life right now. Interesting. Okay, so the advice right now, Eight of Swords. Um, and you can see somebody like is not on this chair. Someone got themselves out of this situation on the other side. Somebody is still stuck. So this is like freeing yourself. Freeing yourself from a situation that is holding you back. Like, don't wait for anyone. Do your own thing. Live your own life. Get to know people. Explore the world. Focus on yourself, the things you love to do, your finances. Things will work out on their own timing, but don't wait for anyone. Don't keep yourself uh, stuck. That's self-sabotage. Okay. So I'm seeing like a, some sort of like soul recognition here. What is this soul recognition coming up for the collective? Oh, interesting. Jealousy. <gasps> twin flame. Some of you could be in like a twin flame situation, twin flame dynamic here that is meant to teach you a lot about yourself. It's meant to teach you a lot about um, also the other, the other person involved. It's meant to teach them a lot about um, lessons and relationships. So some of you are involved in a twin flame situation and I am seeing jealousy. I am seeing somebody maybe allowing jealousy or learning to overcome jealousy in relationships. With this five of swords, I am seeing like if this is someone who you do have um, who is coming back around from the past or, or coming back at a later date. I, I do feel like there is conflict here still. 
because someone's still holding on to trauma and and baggage here and is still needing to learn a lot within themselves and relationships in general but I see you moving towards a new new love new opportunities or exploring new new people getting to know new people dating new people and focusing on the things that fulfill you here I'm seeing intimacy so this is somebody who you may currently uh, have been very intimate with you've gotten really close to this person very quickly is what I'm hearing but don't allow that to to keep you stuck or hold you down because you have some sort of change coming into your life tell me more about this change I've, you got someone coming into your life here and this person would just be kind of blocking your blessing in a way yeah six of swords there's something's coming in you someone's coming towards you someone's ready for you your ship is coming in the fool travel okay you you're moving on i see you moving on from this situation freeing yourself being more free healing a lot your whole mindset is going to change yeah the wheel of fortune there's going to be some sort of faded change here but there's a need to release yourself from a cycle, a pattern, on and off relationships. Something's going to be revealed to you here. There's some sort of um, conversation. You could have a, an air sign coming towards you, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, who's about to show you a lot of attention. This person is coming in like ready to to fight for you, ready to win you over. Ooh, Empress. Someone could be older, someone could be a mother or have children. Um, or there could be an age difference here. Someone's older. But things are about to change for you. There is a light at the end of the tunnel that you're about to see soon. I'm seeing the letters. M A W Y C R I. I've seen the letter of the numbers 3, 1, 17, 5, 8. Those numbers, they could be birthdays or special days. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.